And yeah. uh, hey, Logan, I, want to, I want to address this from Logan Dowell. Logan, Caleb already has a Heisman. Now, I know it would be special to do what Archie Griffin did, 74, 75, and become the second man ever to win it back to back. This season's about making the playoff, and it's about winning the last ever Pac 12 championship. It's not about the Heisman. Like the, like the, and Lincoln Riley as a coach. And I think Caleb Williams as a player, they're not thinking, oh, I got to win the Heisman this year uh, to make my USC career complete before I go uh, to the NFL draft and become the number one pick in 2024. No, this is a, this is about rings. This year's about championships. So you have the Heisman. Would it be great if you, if you won the Heisman again? Yes. But the Heisman, let's look at it this way. Maybe the statistics are needed uh, to win the Heisman, Logan. Let, let's just say, as a hypothetical, that he does need the stats. You know, as a coach, as a le- and, and Caleb as a leader, you need to think: if I win, if I win the Pac-12 and I get to the college football playoff, if I make that statement, that probably means I'm going to have an amazing season. That probably means. I'm going to win the biggest games on USC schedule, or at the very least, I'm going to play really well in USC's biggest games this season. What Caleb Williams did or didn't do against Nevada, not going to influence the Heisman. Like no one's going to say, Oh, he went nuclear against Nevada and like, Oh, give him the stiff arm trophy. Like, look, we, we know that's not going to decide it. It's going to be Notre Dame. It's going to be Utah. It's going to be Washington. It's going to be Oregon. And then if he gets to the Pac-12 championship game, which, you know, would be his final argument in a what could be a crowded debate. And, you know, the Pac-12 could – let's deal with this, with this point, Logan, and everyone else watching here at the Voice of College Football. Pac-12 could have three Heisman finalists. Like, that's no joke. That is a that is a, an entirely realistic possibility right now, whether it's Caleb and Penix and – Shadur Sanders, or maybe Travis Hunter gets in there. Um, if Bo Nix could be in there, like there are lots of Pac-12 Heisman candidates right now. And so, if it's Caleb against Penix, or if it's Caleb against Bo Nix in the Pac-12 championship game, like that right there could be a Heisman deciding game. So it's not about Nevada; it's about the long haul. And if USC wins the Pac-12 and goes to the college football playoff, pretty strong odds that Caleb Williams is going to be, uh, you know, really one of the two uh, top players in the country. He's going to have a very legitimate shot at the back-to-back Heisman. So the winning will lead to the Heisman. It'll all take care of itself. I think that's the best way to view it. Caleb even said to himself last year um, as acceptance, he basically said, hey, you know, I'm up here getting this trophy, but all you guys are in the playoffs. So you know, even Caleb's thinking about the, the bigger picture, the bigger thing. But uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Matt. That guy wants another Heisman Trophy as well. And if we got Bo Nix up there playing Portland State and stacking his, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a thing that I don't like. At the end of the year, every yard he got against Portland State is going to look like he got it against an FBS team. And uh, I just honestly think you can go ahead and play some FCS schools, but that, that should not count an FBS, an FBS stat sheet. That, that's, just, that's just a bone I want to well, pick. The main thing is no one should overvalue that. Like, okay, good, whoop, whoop de doo You scored 81 on Portland State. Give yourself a medal and a and an orange slice. You know. No, I mean, what I, what I mean is the five for six touchdown passes he threw and the 400 yards he threw for against against who? A FCS school. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Of course. At the I end mean, of the year, they accumulate. They'll, they'll show us that line for the year, Matt. Yeah. They'll show us that line for the year, and those yards will be included in there. Yeah, that's right. But like, you know, you, we, we know that it's going to be decided by the biggest games on the schedule. So like no, no worries and no concern from my end. Let's put it that way.